Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with a blast from the past, 2012 Panini Signature Series Baseball, and we're doing two cases of it. Nice stuff right there, two cases of it, all teams are in, all card ship, a lot of autographs, ton of fun. Big thanks to everybody here for buying their spots straight up, and congrats again to the people who won those spots in the filler. Filler number one, we were doing eight spots, give, eight, eight, giving away eight spots. And filler number two, we repriced a little bit cheaper because we were only giving away six spots right there. So that should make 30. All 30 teams are in. Now, there's no official checklist for this. GroupRakeChecklist.com doesn't associate players with teams, nor does CardboardConnection.com. However, I did a little internet research, and I did find this site, TCDB Trading Card Database where they do add teams on there. So we're gonna kinda of use this as a guideline. Hopefully there won't be too many redemptions or anything like that where we run into some issues. But basically it's the teams they were on back in 2012. Um, I think there's like signatures list right there. That's, that's where we'll maybe see some redemption. So we'll keep that handy. Uh, I dropped those links into the chat. I'll drop it again to the chat. So you can use that as a guide. Otherwise, we'll use baseball reference. We'll do our best to, if there's a redemption, we'll do our best to make sure it goes to their 2012 team. We'll do our research there. All right, so with that being said, let's do it. Let's roll it. Randomize names and teams five and a four, nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine, we got Richard down to Martin. Five, uh, four and a five, five and a four, nine times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine, we've got the Minnesota Twins down to the Toronto Blue Jays. All right, so Richard with the Twins, Martin with the Royals, Dusty with the Marlins and the Cardinals, James with the Mariners, Diego with the Padres, Will with the Yankees, Kime with the Rays, Michael M with the Reds, Brian with the White Sox, Chris with the A's, Kenneth with the Rockies, Jeremy with the Guardians, Matt with the Giants, Jason with the Mets, Dusty with the Brew Crew, Richard with the Diamondbacks, Drew with the Nets, Thomas with the O's, Brian Crouch, Rangers and Phillies, Charles with the Astros, Martin got my Dodgers, Brian with the Cubs, Diego with the uh, Tigers, Barry with the Pirates, Martin with the Braves, Brian with the Red Sox, Ryan with the Angels, and Martin, you got the Toronto Blue Jays. Let's get all this on one screen. Let's sort alphabetically by team. And we're gonna pause the video. When we come back, we're gonna see if there's any trades. Then we'll have the break, stick around, be right back. All right, welcome back everybody. No deals were done, so that list right here remains the same. I realized we were talking about the, those redemptions and stuff. I guess it really doesn't matter because 2012, those redemptions would be expired anyway. But let's see what live hits are still remaining in here. See what's been marinating in these cases since 2012. Good luck. This opens this way. The average length of time to fill a redemption, I don't know. It, that's a hard question because it usually depends on the player. Some players send in redemptions faster than other players. That's what I feel like, Mike Tower. 
All right, so I think all card ships. So that's how they did signature series back in the day. Three regular cards, but all card ship. All right, we got Kirk Newenhouse. Rated rookie autograph. 140 out of 299. Series sweep of division rival Miami. That's Mets edition. I vaguely remember this guy. Mets, that's going to be for Jason. We got David Feltz. Player's Choice Patch and Autograph. I think this is Yankees edition, right? Yeah, back in 2012, Phelps was a Yankee. All right, so that's going to go to Will. And Joe Benson for the Twins is your rated rookie autograph. And that'll be for Richard and the Twins. 290 out of 299. Next box. Maybe I should open up a few boxes. Maybe I'll open... 15 box, I'll we'll open five at a time, each column. Got an idea of the pattern here. Uh, there is a redemption on the bottom of that. And I need a, a blank card. Let's use this blank card to, to hide the hits a little bit. I remember when Matt Weeders was supposed to be the next big catching prospect. We've got Taylor Green for Milwaukee. 164 out of 299. That'll be for Dusty and the Brew Crew. Right on the sweet spot, we have uh, Jamil Weeks. For Oakland, that's going to go to Chris. 140 out of 299. And then Ozzie Smith. Wow, that's pretty cool. You got a you got a, a three cent postage stamp from nineteen thirty nine, and Ozzy Smith's autograph underneath signature stamps. I get it. That's seven out of fifty. Cardinals. Uh, Dusty got randomized the Cardinals. There you go. And then we've got uh, Panini Proof, Andre Ethier, 3 out of 25. We got Robbie Ross for the Rangers, Brian Crouch. Yeah, Matt Wieters was supposed to be like the next Buster Posey. I think for the, his first year, he kind of did show some signs of it, but didn't quite... I had a buddy who had kept him for years on a fantasy team. There's Phelps again. Didn't quite work out. 141 out of 299. The Redemption. 
is going to be MLBPA logo autograph. It's Tyler Pasternicki. Do I have him on a checklist here? No. Where did he? Where was he? Was a rookie in 2012. BaseballReference.com. Tyler Pasternicki lasted a couple years in the majors, a few years in the majors with Atlanta. So obviously, we'll still ship this to you, Martin. Maybe Panini. Sometimes we'll we'll do you a solid and give you something in return for this. Maybe some points or something like that. We got Scott Barnes, rated rookie autograph. Scotty Barnes, one eighteen out of two ninety nine. Cleveland, this is for you. Jeremy Olson with Cleveland. And we got Drew Pomerantz. Is Drew, Drew Pomerantz still around? Twenty-two out of two ninety-nine. I didn't realize he was with the Rockies. Colorado, that's for Kenneth. And Diamond Cuts Alan Trammell. Nice one for Detroit. That'll go to Diego and the Tigers. Classic. Four out of ten. And then we have Tim Fedorovich for the Dodgers. You consider Mike's asking if we consider players who had a career ended by injuries to be busts or just players that never reached their potential. I say never reached their potential. I think it's sort of unfair to to say, oh, he got injured, so he's a bust. I mean, that just that just sucks. We got Jared Parker for the A's. That's going to go to Chris and the Athletics. Out of 299. And back here, there's Trevor Bauer, rookie edition for the Diamondbacks. That's for Richard. Looks like Miguel Amaya is going to be called up, Rex is saying. Contreras was going to be, is going to arbitration after the Cubs didn't make him a deal. Well, if they agreed to arbitration, he'd be signed for another year. Think they maybe trade him? And are you saying they didn't agree to arbitration? Or are they going into arbitration? If they're going into arbitration, that's not been settled yet. I have no idea. I wish Major League Baseball would, would kind of decide what they're going to do with him so then the Dodgers can take the next step and see what they're going to do with him. But they, they, they pushed, his, uh, they pushed his, his administrative leave. They push it all the way back to, uh, to the, like the 16th. Oh, they're going, they're going into arbitration. Well, that doesn't mean... Arbitration, does, going into arbitration doesn't mean the end of a player's tenure. If they don't agree to anything in arbitration, then that might be a different story. But, that being said, Contreras to the Yankees, that, that might make sense. They, I don't know who's catching outside of Gary, after they had Gary Sanchez go. I thought they had a catching prospect coming up the rank, so maybe it's a redemption down there. So maybe they won't add to that payroll. There's a redemption over here. I think, Mike, I think Zion's still in the category. 
I think Zion's still in the, hey, he's injured, so we never saw his full potential category. If he wasn't injured and he was playing every day and he was just kind of not good, that's a, little, that's a little busty, I think. There's Hector Sanchez, 29 out of 299 for the Giants. That'll be from Matt. We got Pat Corbin for the Diamondbacks. I remember him. Richard Johansson in the Snakes. 213 out of 299. And we've got a K Force Felix Hernandez autograph. Nice. Mariners. James. Last spot mojo, too. Strikes again. Legend is last spot mojo 70% of the time, hits 100% of the time. That's a nice one. Is Felix Hernandez a Hall of Famer? 14 out of 25. I'm inclined to say yes, but not a first ballot Hall of Famer. We got Chris Marrero for Washington. That'll be for Drew. We got Willen Rosario, rated rookie autograph for the Rockies. That's going to go to Kenneth. And another Trevor Bauer. These headshot photos are kind of weird. Well, you know why they did that, right, Gilo? It's for the Reds. There's a Ryan Braun, Panini Proof, to 10. And we've got a Jor Jordani Valdespin. Valdespin, rated rookie for New York. To 299 for the Mets. That's going to go to Will. And we got Jamil Weeks for Oakland, rated rookie patch and autograph, Chris. Gilo with that one. And there's Will Middlebrooks for the Red Sox. Brian Crouch. I mean, I'll bet the photo was like that big and they just had to kind of cut off the letters and cut off the, the hat logo. I guess these shots, I mean, maybe they just wanted like why don't you take a look at David Wright's beautiful face? Maybe that's what the intent was. Let's get those portrait portrait shots there. There's Val Spin again. Yeah, I do like these patches right here. They are pretty cool. We got Matt Dominguez for the Astros. Charles with the Strohs. That's 67 out of 2.99. And we have Justin Upton. Player's Choice card, MLBPA logo signatures. That's 26 out of 49. Talking about penmanship, Mike? Mike's, Mike's wondering if the penmanship is better in 2012 than it is with the kids these days. I don't know. That seems like an autograph from, from the kids these days. We got David uh, Devin Messeracco for Cincinnati. That autograph's a little bit better. Although generally speaking, I feel like baseball players have uh, have better autos. Maybe just a longer tradition of signing baseball cards. All right, rated rookie logo, Eric 
Uh, Surkamp. I don't remember where Eric Surkamp would be. Eric Surkamp played until 2016. And in 2012, he didn't play. He must have been injured in 2012, but he's a giant that year. So that's for Matt Upton, I think, has got to be Diamondback that year. Yeah, Arizona. Sorry. Richard Johansson, Diamondbacks. All right, next five. And then another case. Ah, Rex talking about the poll. Here's a poll. You can vote on our poll that's in the chat right now. When, when you're counting seconds, what do you say? Do you say one 1,000? Do you say one Mississippi? Or in a rare case, apparently I'm the only one, and along with four other percent of people, say alligator, one alligator, two alligators. You can vote in that poll. We're at 52 votes already. We need some more votes, and we'll we'll talk about it at the end of the night. Very important. Very scientific. Oh, it's tied now, I think. Oh, it's actually 48%, 48%. 1,000 in Mississippi with 4% saying alligators. There's Jose Bautista, Panini Proof, to 10. For Toronto, that's going to be for Martin. There's Steve Lombardo Lombardozzi for Washington. Yeah, that's 2012 Kershaw over there in that picture. Look how young he looks there. He looks pretty similar. There's Brad Peacock for the Nationals. Drew with the Nats. And we got Will Middlebrooks again for Boston. That's going to go to Brian Crouch. We got Liam Hendricks. Nice Liam Hendricks rated rookie autograph. Thirty-four out of two ninety-nine. Liam Hendricks. Um, he he really started in really started in uh, Minnesota. Yeah, went from Minnesota to Toronto to Kansas City to back to Toronto. I think spent a few seasons in Oakland until they converted him to a closer. That's only recently. That's sort of a late bloomer right there, right? So he, at 30 years old in 2019, he had 25 saves. The next season with the A's, he had 14 saves. And then with the White Sox last year, 38 saves. So now here's the rookie edition and Minnesota edition back when he was still supposed to be a starter. So Richard Johansson. That's a cool one.
rated rookie. Yoannis Cespedes, Oakland A's rookie autograph. All right, now, now we're starting to cook a little bit. That goes to Chris and the Oakland A's. And we've got Don Larson. Wow. It's a perfect autograph going to Will Christian and the Yankees. Two out of 25. Nice, Yankees. That's going to go to Will Christian. We got Jordan Lyles for Houston. Charles with the Astros. And we got David Phelps for the Yankees. And we got Harold Baines. Game ball signatures for the White Sox, Brian Crouch. Ten out of twenty-five. All right, I think the next two had redemptions down there. We got Chris Schwinden. That looks like a Mets autograph. Yeah, he's a Met. That's going to go to Jason. And we have Miguel Cabrera. That's a cool autograph. Detroit. Diego with Detroit. Twenty-two out of twenty-five. Nice. The redemption is Matt Adams, rookie Matt Adams, Cardinals. Or am I thinking of Matt Carpenter? No, Matt Adams did start in uh, in twenty-twelve St. Louis. So that'll go to Dusty. And like we were saying, Dusty and everybody else with the redemptions, we're going to still send these to you, but they are expired. Sometimes Panini will do you a solid and maybe get you some points back in turn or something like that. There's young Clayton Kershaw. There is Lucas Ludic for Seattle. That'll be for James and the Mariners. No, I think I got Matt Adams right this time. There's Justin Upton on card auto for the Diamondbacks. Richard. It was Matt Carpenter, Matt Adams, Matt Carpenter. And it's Scott Barnes. Didn't we have a Scott Barnes autograph earlier? Scott Barnes, Toronto Raptors. No, this is for Cleveland. All right, that's our first case. We'll do a, we'll do a recap at the end, but wait, there's more. No, that's definitely Scott Barnes of the Raptors. After his baseball career didn't work out, Brandon, uh, he decided to become a basketball player. Everyone knows this. You didn't hear the story? Scott Barnes failed as a baseball player, didn't, didn't pan out. 
Not failed, but you know, he made it to the majors, but didn't pan out. So he's like, I'll try basketball instead. Some top loaders here. Yeah, these this stuff is a blast from the past, Rex. Absolutely. I don't remember that. I don't. I don't remember twenty two thousand three upper deck game phase. Maybe if I saw it, I would recognize it. But. Twenty twelve, Brandon, I do think that was the Matt Kemp MVP year. Did he fall one stolen base or one home run short of a forty forty season? And then eventually uh, I think it was Ryan Braun who got it. All right, Scott, Scotty Barnes is kind of like the natural. Right, yeah, yeah, exactly. He found some Michael Jordan sneakers, he put them on, and then he, uh, he became, uh, became a basketball player. Yeah, it was 2012, right? There's Michael Young to 25 for the Rangers. Michael Young was really good. Really good second baseman for a good chunk of time. We got Tom Malone for the A's. It's going to go to Chris. To 299. There's Drew Smiley for Detroit. I think Drew Smiley's still around, right? He's still, still getting some work. That is for Diego and Detroit. To 299. The redemption is Tyler Pastor Nicky. We just looked him up. I don't I don't remember where he goes. He only lasts in the majors for two seasons, the ATL. Maybe if you don't sign your cards, Tyler, that's what happens. Lesson learned to all the other players out there. Remember what didn't Ryan Braun blame it on like a FedEx driver or something like that? That's why the sample was not correct, and then the FedEx driver got like fired. But it turns out that that he was lying. And that driver shouldn't have been fired. There's Matt Adams, Cardinals. Live auto for Dusty. Oh, Drew Smiley signed with the Cubs other, yeah, so he's still he's still, still getting some work. Dusty, that is 88 out of 299. Next up is Devin Mesoraco. Reds, Michael with the Reds. And 11 out of 25, Clayton Kershaw. Nice. You don't see Clayton Kershaw's too often.
11 out of 25. Does Mike Trout exist? Like, existentially, like philosophically? Yes. He does. There's Taylor Green for the Brew Crew. That's going to go to Dusty. Oh, Ryan's asking because he has the Angels in this set. He's on the checklist. I doubt they were. I, I doubt they were loading up this stuff with with dozens of Mike Trout autographs. So I, I would imagine he's not that he's not going to be easy to hit. Brad Peacock for the Nationals. That'll be for Drew. St. Peter's Peacocks still existing in the tournament. Jose Iglesias. Going to Boston. That'll be for Brian. 12 out of 99, uh, 299, that is. There are two Ryan Brauns? No, I think I think the correct Ryan Braun is probably getting the vast majority of the hate and all of it. There's Freddie Galvis for Philadelphia. Brian Crouch. It's 299. We got Austin Romine for the Yankees. That'll be for Will Christian and the Bronx Bombers. And we've got Ozzy Smith, jersey and autograph on a piece of his lumber, lumber cuts. Autograph. That's pretty cool. And that is St. Louis edition. That'll be for Dusty. And that's, uh, looks like 8 out of 10. Looks pretty cool. We got Hector Sanchez for San Francisco. Going to go to Matt and the Giants. We've got Matt Dominguez for Houston. That'll be for Charles. 258 out of 299. And the on-card autograph is uh, Logan Morrison for Miami. Lomo. Dusty with the Marlins. 22 out of 99. Lomo. Lomo turned in an exceptional breakthrough 2011 season. All right, next five. Real time saying after about Calvin Ridley being suspended for gambling. Show the other players suspended for gambling one year. Yeah, Paul Horning famously, but unlike Rose Horning, got into the NFL Hall of Fame. Yeah, I guess, I guess the NFL writers are uh, a little more forgiving than baseball writers. I think for whatever reason, I guess. Someone who knows the history of the Hall of Fame, baseball Hall of Fame better than I do would can explain this, but for whatever reason, when they started Hall of Fame stuff, they specific among the requirements that the writers, baseball writers, kind of applied to themselves was some sort of like some kind of morality clause or something like that, like good character, good conduct clause came into play. Whereas the other sports, I don't think that, that that's as big of a, a factor. But that's been kind of bedded into the, the Baseball Hall of Fame voting process for a long time. Which, over time, it becomes a little anti antiquated because now 
increasingly it's becoming like, well, that's just I means just a popularity contest, right? If you were friendly with the with the reporters, if you're friendly with the baseball writers of America, you get a little more love, you know, when it comes to split hair situations. There is Alex Liddy for Seattle. I'm not sure who the who were the big rookies in 2012. 153 out of 299. Does that mean A Rod never becomes a Hall of Famer because doping and wasn't too likable? Well, I think A Rod has repaired his image post baseball with his broadcasting career. So that might now he's in the broadcasting fraternity, the baseball journalism fraternity. So that might change things. Want 215 out of 299, Jesus Montero for Seattle. That's another one for James and the Mariners. There's Adrian Beltre. Nice. Texas. Brian Crouch. Yeah. Well, I mean, the Ty Cobb stuff is... is uh, has been debated, I think, by by historians. There's Tom Malone, Oakland, Chris. But just because there is that clause doesn't mean that uh, that it's applied. Then it's just all arbitrary. They'll let uh, you know. They won't let. Barry Bonds in the Hall of Fame, but they'll let Bud Selig in the Hall of Fame, who essentially let PEDs run rampant under his watch. There's Garrett Richards, 299. So it's all arbitrary. Nice King Felix. Another one for the Mariners. We had one in the first case, James with the M's. We got Justin DeFratis for Philadelphia, Barry Roberts. Yeah, Chris says it's a joke. Barry Bonds is not in the Hall of Fame. An absolute failure of MLB. Well, not, uh, not MLB because Major League Baseball doesn't handle the uh, Major League Baseball doesn't handle the Hall of Fame. It's the Baseball Writers of America who vote for the Hall of Fame. 297 out of 299. They gotta, they gotta change their system, I think. Pat Corbin goes to Richard and the Diamondbacks. It's gotta evolve. I mean, maybe it worked for one period of time, but maybe, I think we're growing to feel that maybe they should evolve. There's Joe Benson, Minnesota. Richard. We got Chris Marrero for the Nats, Drew with the Nationals. We got Austin Romine again for the Yankees. That's going to go to Will. And for Los Angeles, we've got Maury Wills. Nice lumber cuts autograph. Vince Scully would tell stories about when Maury Wills is playing on a on a quiet Sunday in downtown Los Angeles. You'd be able to hear the crowd from up on the hill near downtown Los Angeles chanting to Maury Wills when he was on first to steal. We got um, Alcides Escobar to 25 for KC. Tyler uh, Taylor Green, Milwaukee. Six 
for the Brew Crew. Yes, Peter, we're breaking some 2012 Signature Series right now. NT Baseball coming up next. All right, it's another one for uh, Will and the Yankees. And we got rookie A.J. Pollock, Diamondbacks edition. That goes to Richard Johansson. Had a nice season last year. One ninety three out of two ninety nine. All right, next five. Final five boxes of our dual case break of 2012 Panini Signature Series Baseball. A little blast from the past. We'll do a little recap at the end here. Thanks, everybody, for being a part of it. Remember, the, your names here will also be part of tonight's promo if we fill up those other two breaks. So hopefully we can make that happen tonight. Details on the break schedule. Click the link that's pinned in the chat. Dang, I think there's three redemptions in here. Right, that's not a redemption. All right, sorry guys. All right, we got Robbie Ross for the Rangers. That'll be for Brian. Will and Rosario, Rockies. That'll be for Colorado. What's the oldest box of cards we done? We broke it. Didn't we do a 1986 Fleer basketball box? No? Yeah, I thought we did. Clayton Kershaw. Damn. Well, there was another Kershaw auto in there, Martin, but we'll still send this to you. Maybe, maybe the, for a name of this caliber. Maybe, uh, maybe Panini will do something for you. We got Calvin Herrera for the Royals. Martin with Kansas City. And we've got a Nolan Ryan, Rangers edition. Don't look, Rex. Uh, that goes to Brian Crouch and the Texas Rangers. 25 out of 25. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that was, we were giving away the graded card. I thought we did a box of that. Didn't we do an early 2000s Topps Chrome football box recently? There's Joe Whelan. Don't remember where, I remember the name. I don't know where he was in 2012. Padres. That's right, he was with the Dodgers for a season, too. A 
That's Freddie Freeman. We got Chris Schwinden for the Mets. We got Jared Parker or Gerard Parker. Or maybe I'm thinking of Fox Sports radio host Rob Parker. There's 179 out of 299. A's, that'll be for Chris. And the third redemption here is Willie Randolph, Game Ball Signatures. Willie Randolph? Willie Randolph predates 2012. Well, we'll go by our... There's no checklist for this, and I don't see him in the checklist here. But uh, Willie Randolph played the longest for the Yankees. Played 13 seasons for the Yankees. I don't think his name is on this checklist here from tcdb.com. Just double check really quick. Yeah, we'll go with Yankees on that one, going by our no checklist rules. I'm not even sure if Panini's going to do anything for for this as well. Not there, Jay. They don't have team names on there, Jason. I looked. I'll go to Will Christian. There's an on-card auto hiding on top here. Who are you? You are Bill Bray for the Reds. Ninety-eight out of ninety-nine. That'll be for Michael. We got Chris Schwinden again for the Mets. I know this this random this random site called tradingcarddatabase.com kind of did half the work, but then they're they're like, eh. That's for Jason. Here's Matt Moore, rated rookie, game ball autograph for the Tampa Bay Rays. That'll be for Kime. And the last box. There's Carl Crawford, 2 out of 10. That is a Dodgers edition. And the last few here. Good luck, everybody. We got Jordani Valspin, game ball autograph for the Mets. Well, there's still two cards left, Brandon. Let's see. We've got David Phelps. For the Yankees. And the last one, AJ Pollock. Rated rookie autograph, Diamondbacks edition, Richard Johansson and the Snakes. There you go, boys and girls. So nice blast from the past. Glad everybody got in. Let's do a, uh, a recap. So, ton of autographs in here, which is awesome. I appreciate everybody getting into the action. Thank you. I don't know. There's the Nolan Ryan. I don't know when, when the next time we're going to get this stuff in, but take advantage of these blasts from the past. It's a lot of fun seeing some of the older cards here. King Felix, Beltre, Lomo, the 
is a live Clayton Kershaw autograph. That was the case we just did. Here's the first case. There's Toronto Raptor Scotty Barnes, Matt Adams, Miggy, Harold Baines. It's Justin Upton. There's King Felix again. Alan Trammell, Diamond Cuts. This Ozzy Smith I thought was really cool. His signature stamps is pretty awesome. There's a Don Larson, Joanna Cespedes, Liam Hendricks. Nice stuff there, boys and girls. Uh, that was 2012 Panini Signature Series Baseball dual case break, uh, random team break from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next baseball break. Bye-bye.